Yeah, well, you can argue she is the total package. Maybe that should be her nickname, but she is as budding a prospect and as highly touted a prospect as we have in this division. Gonna be interesting to see her put her skills on display here in this matchup tonight. Yeah, she's, she's, she's something else. I mean, I always try to find words to describe these young fighters that just are truly well-rounded. She's one of those fighters. She can fight everywhere. She's got great grappling. She's a tremendous striker. And it's her fight IQ. She fights wise beyond her years. She's young in the game, but when you watch her, you would never expect that this young lady is just getting started. And with some humility, champ, she'll say, I could beat her in a kickboxing yeah. match, I'll beat her in a grappling match, and damn right I'm gonna beat her in MMA. I think you have to have that. If you wanna be the best, you gotta have that. So here she is, the former UFC strawweight champion, Thug Rose Nama Yunus. Amazing what she was able to do against Ioana Guillaume Jacek times two. Another big spot for the 115 pounder here tonight. And John Cora, as impressive as that first young Jacek fight was, I believe the second one was even better because it showed the true evolution of Rose Nama Yunus. To be able to stand for 25 minutes and outstrike Joanna Young Jacek was truly, truly something special. Initially, she was one of those fighters that was trying all kinds of things and wasting actions. Right. But now, as she won the belt, you saw her really find herself, and it showed in the second Young Jacek fight. Rose Namajunas steps inside the octagon and is ready to fight. Our tail of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Fighting out of the blue corner, Gracie Cortez! And now introducing your opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Fog Rose Narayunas! One of the best in the business, Herb Dean is our referee Ready. tonight. Good. All right, Thug Rose Namajunas ready to go here. Round one, Trevor Whitman firmly in her corner. And might be a little bit of a feeling out process here tonight. She's not afraid to see what's coming back before registering her attack. Rose Namajunas in another big one tonight. Just on it. Feels like the beginning of the end. Wild swing there. That shot is blocked by Cortez. All right, well, she was expectant that these takedown attempts would come in bunches. There's the first one, DC, and she's able to stay upright. As you would expect, she is a phenomenal mixed martial artist. You knew that she had an ability to defend takedown. She has shown that now. Look for her confidence to go through the roof. She's got a real good jab. Just a really high pace, too. It's a really high striking pace for these two. Okay, connection and a right. Oh, that one landed, yep. Well, she's got a good jab, missed with it there. Oh, lands a nice straight. Just missed with the left there. 
All right, so Thug Rose Namajunas mixing it up pretty well here in the early going with her kicks and, of course, that patented jab as well. Yeah, she pops that jab. She's so fast, and you can hear her corner telling her, Rose, stay on the jab, stay on the jab. She's so good at maintaining distance, and she's very tall for the weight class. Rose Namajunas has now figured out how to use her length to her advantage inside the octagon. Well, she said in these situations she had to protect her head, and defensively she has done an outstanding job of it. She could not do it any better up to this point. Great punch landed with so much power. Nicely done to the body. And just misses with that big right hand. Both fighters throwing heat now. Man, she is just breaking her down with volume tonight as she lands another combination. I mean, over and over, she is just landing so many different attacks. It's amazing to watch someone never throw less than three. She's throwing at least three every time she enters. Two minutes to go in the round. Well, Nama Yunus's nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut perhaps there on the bridge. That shot blocked by Cortez. Rips the body there for good measure. Oh, that hook landed for. All right, so she continues to attack the body to great effect. Actually, some redness now underneath the elbow of her opponent. Yeah, she does a great job of attacking the body in multiple different ways, and it's starting to pay dividends for her. A commitment to excellence. She finally gets this fight to the ground after many failed attempts. She was not discouraged. Now she has this fight exactly where she wants it. Cortez back in full guard now. Now potentially working on a submission instead. Oh, she got out. How good is that? Work, work, come on, work. Thug Rose gets back up. 45 seconds to go here in round one. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. She's starting to put together some significant body work here, and these are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Well, it is not the worst cut we've ever seen in the UFC, but a lot of blood donation happening right here, right now as her opponent continues to target that area. Yeah, I mean, you, are, you have a, a fighter in front of you who is so disciplined, who is so sharp. You have got to get on your bicycle, you gotta get on the outside, limit the damage, get between rounds, and then try to reset, because right now, this cut is only getting worse. All right, that's the end of the round, and the fighter has a cut on her nose. So that is something that certainly bears watching moving forward. Cut man racing in there. He'll try to seal that cut. She doesn't seem too bothered by it, but certainly something we'll keep an eye on here moving forward. Well, well no surprise to see her opponent continue to attack that cut on the bridge of her nose. Nasty cut on the bridge of her nose. She wasn't moving her head, and she is now paying for it. Her opponent now will be even more aggressive in her approach to try and advance the damage to her nose that she's already dealing with. All right, round two. All right, here we go with our next round. Two of the best women in this division. We'll see who takes the upper hand. You gotta make a decision when you get up out of your school, going to the next round, that this is my fight, and I am not gonna allow it to slip through my fingers. Oh, great block there. Just misses with the right. Counters now left hook to the headlands. Well, new round, same result as she continues to attack the ball. Nama Yunus's kick to the body here. That one appeared to be blocked. 
Well, this is one of the more active rounds we have seen all night long. Both of these women have realized success with the striking, and both seem damaged. It's always fun when you get a fight like this, where you see the blood on both sides, where you see the swelling on both sides, where you see the concern for both fighters recognizing that, wow, I've got my equal in front of me. Let's see who can push through and get the victory. Well, Nama Yunus has got a bruise appearing on that left side right now. You gotta think that body investment is gonna pay dividends later. Well, eventually she will turn this defense into offense, but she seems to see these strikes coming from a mile away. She sees them a mile away, and the hands are exactly where they're supposed to be, right on the chin. Oh, countered nicely there with a beautifully timed uppercut. Well, that left hand has been there for her tonight, not on that attempt. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Nama Yunus is blocking well now. You see the fighter raise the guard to protect that obviously damaged nose. Under three minutes now to go in round two. Cortez going for the leg kick. Nothing doing there. Well, you know she can do it all in the octagon tonight. She is largely a striker, and man, has she had it going really from the opening bell. From the start of the fight, you could see that she was different tonight. You could see that she was going to lean on the cardio, set a high pace, and hope that her opponent could not keep up. But not only is she fighting hard, she... Oh, guillotine, guillotine here. Oh, nice guillotine there. Oh, great submission defense as she sets out. Trying to stay heavy here as best she can. Back to her feet now. Good sign for her there. Well, she's so confident in her defense and her ability to block shots, and, and now you see why. You see all she learned from her background in boxing that allows her to be so effective defensively. Well, she has certainly picked up the pace here in round two and starting to find herself in the pocket a little bit. She was a little bit hesitant in round one. No hesitancy whatsoever here in round two. She has clearly found her rhythm and range. 90 seconds to go in the round. Clean punch. All right, so a pretty interesting development here in terms of this fighter's evolution. Just as we saw in the last round, primarily a jiu-jitsu athlete, having a lot of success with her striking team. Well, you can see it from the moment she came out the corner. She was confident. She told us she would not chase takedowns. She felt like she was even better in the striking. And to this point, she has proven exactly that. Man, another body strike lands. She's known for her toughness, but that only goes so far. You gotta make an adjustment or she's gonna lose here tonight. Absolutely, and, and J.A., I mean, do we start to look to the corner to question whether or not they should do something about it? Because she's obviously not able or capable of making the change. Maybe they have to save her on this night. One, two punch by Cortez. 30 seconds to go in round two. the sidekick now. 15 seconds to go. Oh, Superman punch. And the horn sounds on round two. Let's get you some highlights from that previous round, DC. I don't care how strong your core is, you can't take too many more of those body kicks. John, you can't train for that. I mean, you cannot train to take those types of body kicks. They start to really wear at your gas tank, and then you start to make mistakes. When you take that many body kicks, you start making mistakes, and before you know it, the fight's over. You ready to fight? You ready? Third round, underway. 
All right, so the previous two rounds pretty entertaining, DC. We'll see who has the upper hand here as this next round gets underway. Very evenly matched fight. They knew exactly this when they were matched up. We were excited about the fight. We kind of expected this to be very even between these two talented fighters. All right, so the jab lands yet again for Thug Rose Namajunas, really starting to mix things up well on the field. She does it all. I mean, I think Rose Namajunas is one of the best athletes in the strawweight division. She fights long. She stays behind the jab, and she uses her kicks to make sure that she's at range and safe. What an absolute war on a napkin in the center of the octagon. These women continue to stand and trade, and really both of them have landed at will all night. They both have landed. Neither has shown the best defense, but it makes for a real fun fight. They're battered, they're bruised, they're cut, they're beat up. But we are looking at one of the best fights we have seen in a long time. several times in this round. We acknowledge the durability on the other side, but how about just getting aggressive and finishing this fight? You know, she doesn't take many chances inside the octagon. Right now is a time where she should take chances. She should be going forward, putting a lot of activity out there, and trying to end her opponent's night. Nama Yunus is... All right, well, the ref is gonna step in here and call on the doctor. Her nose does not look like it did at the weigh-in yesterday. We'll see if the doctor stops the fight. No, it didn't. She's been beat up a little bit. The blood is pouring down her face. But if you look at her spirit, it seems like she still wants to be here. She's not ready to throw in the towel yet. She doesn't want to see the doctor, but it looks as though, at least for now, he's going to allow her to continue. you got to think they're going to monitor that cut closely, though, moving forward. Ready. All right, so the referee is going to get the action back underway. She didn't even want the doctor to make his way into the octagon. He has since left, and she's happy to get a chance right to fight away. up. Right away, John. She's, no, 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 I want to fight. I'm happy she's getting that opportunity. Now, you got to take advantage of this chance. You got to take advantage of the chance to go out there and try to right what you think would be wrong if the fight got stopped. Hard shots landing on both sides here. All right, so some adversity for her here. Looks like she has been opened up around that eye. Anything worth having would not be easy, but she's got to protect that cut because it will get worse if she continues to get hit on it. Well, Nama Yunus is an absolute mess right now. This fight might actually get stopped by the ringside physician due to that cut. <laughs> Trying to establish that jab once again. She whips on the straight right hand. All right, take your time. Take your time. Marshall, the referee has called for the doctor. This could very well mean the end of the fight. Yeah, the fight's over. There's too much damage. This fight needs to be done. You gotta wave it off, right? Somebody's daughter out there. Yeah, that'll do it. Yeah. All right, Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Bruce. Ladies and gentlemen, the doctor has called a stop to this fight. Declaring the winner by TKO, Tracy Cortez! All right, so what a moment for her here tonight as she gets the finish. You knew she couldn't play the jiu-jitsu game tonight, and she was a disciplined fighter. She fought exactly where she needed to. She stayed safe. When it was time, she put the pedal to the metal and got the finish.